Ah, so yes, we are done with the playing part of it. And um, of course now, <laughs> having learned how to do this live chat and um, with the help of my cousin, I'm excited, but uh, I want to talk about something that uh, I have refused to accept or most of us do, uh, like, um, especially when you go through a loss, you wake up and you actually don't know what to do the next day. You, you're frustrated, you're disappointed, you regret. And um, nine months ago, I think nine months and two weeks or something, I lost my family like completely, like the way you, you'd kishiku uh, on a policy, like I asked my friends most of the time, but they like, kishiku on a policy with a piggy and they're like, oh, I'll call my mom, I'll call my dad and others, and tell me, I'll call my brother, I'll call my sister. And that part have been, been taken away from me. It has been every day at a time. <laughs> it has been so crazy. And um, I remember another day and, my cousin we were discussing about creating a website and i told him i need one and he was like asking me what do you want to do with it and actually i didn't know what i want to do with it uh he told me i can talk about mathematics oh i don't know when i can talk about that he told me i can talk about my life and I actually am yet to think about it, but every day you keep on thinking what you think would impact other people. I remember there's a time I used to, or I'm still a member of BOM. BOM means board of management in a certain school at home, but um, do you think I can still go at home and tell them, uh, you know, you need to do this, you need to do this? Uh, you feel that part has, has gone away. You really not who you used to be. If you used to go stand in front of people and tell them, you know, you can do this and you used yourself as an example, again, there are things that happens in your life and you're like, okay, now I can do this. I I'm done. And even if you tell people, they'll be like, ah, we are not one being. So that's, that's the phase I've been going through in my life. And uh, <laughs> yeah, monkey, I can see you saying you're present. Oh, okay. And John, George Kenya is present. Mudoni Mogo is back. And Pens Jens and Nice is, uh, is back. Okay, fine. So, yeah, so that's what I was saying. And life sometimes gives you a bitter, this is not even a lemon, by the way. Lemon is an understatement because I can eat lemon. Ugh, I don't know what this was and whether this is and what it will be in future. But yes, how do you deal with life after loss? What do you do? <laughs> do you go drink every day? Or do you hang uh, up with bad friends or do you kill yourself or what do you do with life i remember this a day I, I i felt crazy i felt i couldn't manage i couldn't make it so i took a matter too and i wrote i think it was around five or something and i went to nakuru and by that time i didn't know what i want to do because if i knew i would I don't know but i knew i wanted i just wanted to get away of this world like i knew i can't manage and i can't do it so i went to nakuru i booked myself in a hotel and yes when i was in that hotel i'm just imagining what do i i'm a what, what is right what is good and i didn't tell anyone but apparently a friend of mine passed through my house and yes um he noted i'm not there and he called my cousin simon and called grace and all of them was like where is she and they called me <laughs> and at that, that moment i realized oh kumbe is still have people who care about me and, and they asked me where are you i'm in a court what are you doing um uh, grace told me i know you can't do anything stupid and i'm like i wish you just know what i want to do and but at that moment i realized oh, yeah the people who really care about me and yeah, uh, someone has just uh, said good talk over after losing my governor. Yeah, uh, it's a sad day for us, all of us. Uh, it is unfortunate uh, that he passed on. Yeah, but what now after losing, what comes out of you is what really matters and who you become after that. 
um, I can tell you it's never easy since that night I would be lying if I tell you I've ever spent a day sleeping. Like, literally, I'm always half, half, half awake and in a half sleeping. I get nightmares every night. Even today, I know. <laughs> They'll still come, but yeah, I've learned to live with them. Sometimes I just, I, I tell myself, okay, today it is no nightmares. I just want a peaceful night. But anyway, they'll still come, but I've learned to live with them. So what I'm saying is that you have to live every day at a time, like every moment. There's, there's no, I, I mean, hakuna formula, hakuna board mass, hapa, at the bracket of division, multiplications, you what, what, apana. Every day at a time. Yesterday was bad. Today is good. Work with today. Work with now. Sometimes I tell myself today, by the way, I have to finish this chapter. And I sleep at two if I've not finished it. I have to do it. I tell myself, yes, I have to do it. And not that I'm strong. <laughs> I can see Maura telling me, come on, yeah, I'm here. <laughs> not that I'm strong. I just know that after our loss, yes, there's nothing we can change. Because if we want to change, there are many things probably we want to change. But it's not possible. So you have, we have to live with it. We have to embrace every moment. We have to accept. I don't tell people to accept and move on because it's so hard. I can't move on. I'm still stuck on the that day. I'm still thinking of what could I have done differently? What could I, what could I, yes, those questions will be there. They'll definitely be. I'm sure even today, after the governor passed on, people are asking, I wish he could, he was not going for that interview. Where was he going? I wish he, I wish, I, any, every time is like, I wish we didn't, I wish, I, I wish, yeah. <laughs> but I mean, <laughs> There's nothing much we can do with even with our wishes. We can only accept. You don't have to move on. Live with it, but live every moment at a time. Embrace it. Value yourself more. Uh, sometimes I, I think I was so used to my mom doing many things for me. I actually sometimes don't know what to do with myself. Sometimes I. I don't know who, who to talk to, who to tell anything, who to do, what not to do. I need her. But yes, she's gone. She's in heaven. I hope. <laughs> and she's watching. But yeah, so you can, you can never move on, but you can accept and live every moment at a time. Another thing we need to do is that as much as you, you've embraced every moment, you've loved yourself more, Value life. These days, I don't just comment, rest in peace. I breathe in, put myself in the shoes of those people who have been left. Like, these days, internet is so crazy. If you go and read the comments after the, the governor passed on, it's about parties, uh, communities, names, what? And I tell people, but they, that person commenting that doesn't know what is lost. And it's true. If you lose, you definitely can't do that. Because you understand what it feels to have lost. You value life. You appreciate people more. You value them. <sighs> Though, <laughs> again, another part. <laughs> After you lose again... People should know how to approach you. You know, sometimes people like will call you when they're in difficult situation, and uh, they expect you to behave in a certain manner. But you you can't because, of course, you maybe have shock absorbers, and uh, maybe you'll never probably experience uh, a loss of the magnitude that you went through. So it becomes a bit hard when someone wants to uh, make you like uh, behave in a certain way. Yes, but that does not mean, and I'm talking for many people who've gone through loss, that doesn't mean 
that you don't care. I, I remember this uh, the other time a friend of mine called me and she was in tears and my mom is not feeling well. What, what, what? I need this. And I was like, what? And you're crying. I mean, you, <laughs> you should be talking with the nurse <laughs> to make sure that the, the she's attended according to, I mean, and she, she really, I'm sure she hates me now because probably she expected you to be like, oh my God, oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, but that because of what we've gone through, some of us now can't do that. But that does not mean we don't value life. We value life more. And Maura, some minor is saying network and he's clicking. <laughs> That's a problem of migrating to where I just go back to Safari from Gradis Kerega joined, Esther Wamoyo joined, but they just just talk we have lost, we don't have to have lost our life. I mean, we lose many things. We you even sometimes lose money. And to you, maybe that's a loss because that's that's something for you, Saizo. So yeah, Sarah Kamal is back. <laughs> So yes, I'm saying uh, after that, uh, after we, you value life more, embrace it. If you can, help. If you can't, don't kill yourself because you can't. And again, don't think too much. I remember my first four months, I used sleeping pills throughout. From January to... Uh, from January to, I think the last pill I took was in May. No, it was four months. By around June, I was still on sleeping pills. Yes, I couldn't sleep, literally. I couldn't eat, I had lost weight, I had lost myself, I couldn't smile, I couldn't laugh the way I'm laughing. <laughs> but with time of money, I can see someone say, following the I can read and I lost my aunt and her son on a tragic road accident still hasn't moved on she was so close like to us cousins yo was so much that's that's the thing everyone most of okay not everyone most of us have lost but yes I don't tell people to move on you can never move on it's hard but you can accept it live with it every day I wake up and I live with that moment every day I go back to that day I think for the whole of this year, I've never, I've never been me. Uh, I, I, I always go back and I'm like, oh God, oh God, why me? Why did they choose me? Why not someone else? And why did I have to be on that? And in the most inhuman way, I mean, why? I ask myself those questions. And by the way, <laughs> when you're asking yourself why someone else might be celebrating on the other end, I don't know why people celebrate when people are in in problems, because I personally might never I I might never be close to you, but I'll never celebrate when you are in a problem because I mean, what does that make me? I mean, what do I become after celebrating uh, someone because you have lost or you have gained or you've done what? it's crazy I, I can't I really sometimes reason in a way and I'm like oh oh god yeah so I was saying uh, we we just need to do what we can do love life live like you never live tomorrow that embracing every moment by the way again when you lose you do crazy stuff I I'm here I I do a lot of things that I didn't know I can do. People think I'm strong, <sighs> maybe from outside, but I'm not. I'm actually very weak. Those who know me understand what I'm saying. But I never I put myself in a situation where I want people to sympathize, because anyway, there's nothing we can do. I've accepted. I've not moved on, but yes, I have embraced it. It's me now. That's the new me. It has made another purity. Sometimes the feeling or the things that happens in your life are so much that it changes the DNA. I know the DNA has a certain arrangement. I'm not in gene sequencing. Mary Masharia should be watching this and tell, tell me what, uh, about genes and what. But 
even if there are things that happen and it twists you, sometimes you, you actually don't know who you are anymore. But again, that who you don't know who you are is now who you are, the new you. I, I'm new. Sometimes people do a lot of crazy things to me and they're like, oh God, I'm so sorry. I hope you didn't get angry. And I'm like, seriously? Angry for what? I have no, I have no, I have nothing. Why should I be angry? Why do I even care? I mean, it's so petty. The things that used to be so important to you, they stop being important. They become petty, petty problems. Like, oh, I, I mean, <laughs> I think um, you just you just change you, you become something totally different something or somebody someone totally different but yes you are still the still part of you that goes back to those situation to those times that you used to do these other things with the people you have lost doesn't have to be a parent can be a friend can be a what but another thing by the way in this moment I've learned god will always give you other people who care about you because for me i find half people who didn't know me who don't care about me but they love me anyway they'll do anything to make me happy some are my blood relatives others are just friends others go out of their way to ensure i'm well others will even call me purity how are you doing how is it going how are you fine yeah so god will always find a way of giving you uh, other people who come they can never replace no one can never substitute a loss especially over parent because sometimes i want to give my secrets to someone and the only person who could accommodate them was my mama she was so good that she <laughs> i used to tell her some of the crazy stuff and it was quite interesting it was fun and uh, yeah Unfortunately, no. Yes, the point is you'll get other people, they can never replace who has gone, but of course, you also need to give them, allow them to be part of you, embrace them, let them be part of you, don't push them away. I know it happens most of the time when you go through a loss, every time someone calls you, you're like, ah. Aki, I'm tired. What is wrong with this person? Yeah, that happens to everyone. Even me, sometimes you'd call me. And even sometimes I look at the phone, I'm like, ah, oh, he's calling, ah, she's calling, and I've said my name is so you Yeah, everyone goes through those moments. And sometimes for me, I understand. Um, I really, if someone has gone through that now and I call and he or she does not pick, I really don't put words on it and I'm like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. like for me, there's so many people who have written to me that, hey, squeeze una nyamaza, squeeze utaki kuangea na mimi, squeeze juu nili kufanya nini. And I'm like, surely, uli nifanya nini. This nothing, it's just because I want me, I want my moment, I, 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 I can't do with you. Uh, I am dealing with other problems that are probably more important than this. Not that you're not important. It's because I have to understand myself more. I have to live my I have to live me now. Sometimes you live for people. You want to make everyone happy. You want to be good. But again you go back and you realize you have to first live you. You have to understand you. You have to live. You have to be you now so that you're able to give you to other people so before that happens you find yourself you don't want to talk to people you don't want to discuss death you don't want to discuss anything and people ask you how you are and you're like ah, and does he even care uh, yeah so those moments will come but yes <laughs> you just need to be happy like i am doing now uh yes so uh, i just wanted to Talk to people who've gone through loss. Of course, there are many people I know personally, and sometimes I don't know what to tell them because what would I tell them? I understand what they're going through, but all in all, um, I just see we 
actually just need to embrace ourselves to love ourselves to do what is right and yes don't go down on your dreams i remember and i have to give you the story this this lady i can't see her online so i think i won't mention her name but she came at Strathmore one day and we had not met after my mom passed on i think i went back to work immediately because anyway, what else would i have done i was not being i was not working like going to class but yes being at school and with my colleagues just made it better for me so she told me do you know what you have to move on you have to continue doing what you do best you have to continue doing what you are called to do i don't know whether there's a calling <laughs> but <laughs> it's at first i didn't like that comment you know you expect someone to be oh i'm so sorry purity i know you're going to make it and i'm i know this thing i understand oh god but yes oof, she was not that kind she told me move on do what you need to do do what you do best and now every day I remember those words and I wake up and I'm like, yeah, purity. Do what you do best. Yeah, do what you do best. Yes, I call my mom's line and most of the time it is, it, 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 I have the line with me so I know it's not going to, no one is going to receive or something. But yes, but even at that moment, I say, purity, do what you are called to do. You were not defined by what happened. Because most of us want to define us on that. Sometimes I've, get, I've decided to get rid of some of my friends who look at me differently now. I mean, that person that was not my friend in the first place. If you were my friend, you know me. Nothing defines me or not anyone who I am defines who purity is it's not about what happened what did not happen what was supposed to happen what what <laughs> wow so yeah this is quite interesting and yes yeah, so what we're going to be doing before i figure out whether i want to do uh, a website basically on mathematics uh, or i want to do a thing about life i don't know which one would make a difference to anyone because anyway i value mathematics ah oh, do i yeah math is good <laughs> but i also feel life is better so it depends with uh, with time we're going to figure out but yeah so if you've gone through loss pull up yourself do what you do best and it's not the end of life. Bye bye. Have a good night back in Kenya. I'm still stuck here in Cottbus, but enjoying every moment. Um, it is cold. It will become dark at five or four. Yes, uh, here it's around. Uh, the difference is two hours. So uh, here it's nineteen ten. Samoja na dakika kumi, but there I know it is uh twenty one ten. Right? So most of you might be watching news. It's important. But then what is new? See you. Good night.